so i'll say that the kind of quality that you put into your work paid on paid something that you just do casually should not drop because oh maybe people will not watch it or maybe people will not like it or maybe i'm not sure how people will welcome it you know imagine if she gave it to mm -hmm. somebody who is like average an average thinker or a, a shallow person the person will be like ah in this nigeria ah hey hey you know and all of that hello beauties welcome back to the channel if you're new here my name is yemi and this channel is all about inspiring you to own your life, live up to your potentials, and to be your best self. So today, as you guys can already tell, I'm not the only one here. It's not just me, right? <laughs> we have a special guest on the channel today. Her name is Korede Ajibade, but you can call her Kore. <laughs> That's her famous intro on our channel and it's like stuck in my head. My name is Akoridi Ajibade, but you can call me Kore. <laughs> and then she goes this way. <laughs> but anyway, today we have Kore on the channel and um, today we are going to have a conversation. Something that I remember that I watched this. Um, um, the, I, you guys will get to know the topic. But anyway, I saw something on Netflix and then I shared it on my Instagram page and immediately i posted it like corey was like yes i feel the same way too and you know we're just chatting behind the scenes and talking about uh what we're going to discuss today and then we both decided that you know what why don't we share this on our channels on both of our channels you know why don't we share this knowledge this wisdom this it was so informative it was so interesting and we decided to bring it to you guys so that's what we're going to be doing today that's right um there's going to be a part on my channel and there's also going to be another part on her channel so mm -hmm. you guys can you know go ahead and check both um channels out and don't forget to subscribe as you do that please, okay please, so yes we want you guys to subscribe, relax okay please subscribe <laughs> e exactly you we know exactly and it's even free mm -hmm. yeah, yeah so we hope you guys enjoyed the conversation mm -hmm. relax have fun learn from it whatever it is that you want to take away take it away right. and yes let's just get into the conversation all right yeah let's get to it when i saw that it did um, a documentary for the making of the king i'm like okay what do they want to do right so what crossed your mind when you saw that it created a documentary for the making of this film like how did you feel about it when you saw that yeah i think when i i didn't even know that there was a making or on the movie I didn't see that um, on time on Netflix. I was just scrolling on Instagram one day, so I saw on somebody's post that have mm -hmm. you seen the making of the king? A king on, on Netflix, you should go and see it or something like that. I was like, making of a king, is that another movie? I didn't even know it was King of Boys <laughs> that the person was referring to. But I just went on Netflix yeah. and then I saw the making of a king and then I saw um I'm not sure if it was Kemi Adetiba's face or Shalashibo Ali's face I saw. And I was like, oh, I think this was what the person was talking about on her post, the making of a king. I think it's the king of boys um, making that she was referring to. So I was like, okay, I'll watch it in my free time. Mm -hmm. And then I, w I, I just clicked on it and I watched it and I was like, no, I can't watch this alone. When my husband came back the following day, I, like I said the following day, <laughs> when my husband was at home the following day, I asked him that, I asked him to watch it and we watched it together again. Like it was that good. And I didn't expect that they were going to do something like that because after doing King of Boys, the first mm -hmm. one that took that long, and then they did a limited series on the second part, I wasn't even expecting them to, like come up with something again on that particular story so yeah like watching the making just made mm -hmm. the movie a lot more interesting after watching it like two times i really wanted to watch the part one again my husband was like he wants to watch the part two I again the you know <laughs> it was so good it was so so good at this point i think i think we are we're like we're we're we are, we are back to that energy we had when we were somewhere talking about yes, it behind the yes. scene so i think the first thing i'll ask is that what are the what are the what are the things that jumped at you like i'm sure i'm sure when you watched it watched um the documentary because that's what we really yeah. want to talk about we want to talk about mm -hmm. the lessons that we picked out from this documentary about the making of the king uh, a film by kemi adetiba and directed by i'm a psalmist michael arogundade mm -hmm. and honestly i feel like that documentary was a film that we never thought we yeah. needed both the young the old the average the child everyone needs it because there's something for everyone in that yeah. documentary and the first thing that stood out for me is 
is the fact that there was just so much drive from everyone that was on that screen there was this drive and that drive was because of one person one they, they it was a contagious kind of drive a drive that was contacted from one person that's how yes. i feel yeah, overall exactly. that's how i felt about that documentary like there was so much drive so how did you feel about it when you when you watched it when you were done Honestly, watching it if, if, if i could describe in words exactly how i felt it will be mind-blowing like that's just the simple word because again like i said i watched it twice <laughs> i watched it twice and wow. As I was watching it, because when I watch something on maybe a movie or I read something that is just like it, it put me in that mood, in that zone, I can't like I, I look forward to sharing it with my husband because he always brings another kind of perspective to it. And I see, you know, when you're watching something with somebody, you know, there's just always that vibe mm. in it. So as I was watching, I was like, no, no, no. I just need to watch it with somebody else. Let me see if it's just me that is feeling this way. And that's why when you also like um, reply to that um, story on Instagram, we're like, I was like, yes, Message. it's not just me that is yeah. feeling this way. <laughs> it's not just you know. <laughs> that's like how I felt. Like that's just yes. to summarize how I felt with the making. And I know some people will be like, oh, you guys are just <laughs> exaggerating and all of that. But you just need to watch it to understand what we are talking about. So watching it i just felt right. like over the moon because like you said and i think i remember rmd like um the actor he was also saying that uh, king of boys is like a virus that you know will contact like you it's contagious mm. you know like what you just said that it's contagious so that's exactly how i felt right. like you could you could feel the connection you could feel <coughs> the energy from just watching like you could tap into kemi kemi's power kemi's drive kemi's you know what would I call it now? She's I, I was telling my husband she's actually the king of boys. She's the one. She 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 put herself Honestly, into the character is. of Shalashi Wale. But anyway, I just felt really good. And um that's I I, I, I just can't put it to words. I just can't put it to words. But uh if I should <laughs> if I should like talk about the first thing that I that blew me away from the movie, like from the making, sorry, from the documentary, <laughs> is just the way she her personality Kemi's personality is just her person mm -hmm. like things that are not shown the things that were not shown in that documentary because for you to lead a group of people it takes some kind of mm -hmm. power some kind of resilience some kind of mm -hmm. personal leadership for you to be able to do that like you yourself you have to be full That's to be right. able to lead a group of people some of them, most of them were not our mates in the industry and even age-wise, you know, most of them were not our mates. Some of them were our juniors. Some of them were new people mm. in the industry, the crew, not just the That's cast, right. but the crew members and everybody involved in that project, you know, for mm. you to lead that amount of people. Look at the amount of people that were involved in that movie, both part one and part two. Like, like a whole nation. Exactly. <laughs> you know, they call themselves the King of Boys Army, right? Like, a, the, a, entire yeah. army, just for you as a woman. And she's very new to the industry, if I do say so. But like, if I, if I can say that, she's very new. She's not the, like... No, she's really? not actually. She's not. She has been there. She has been in the industry um, directing musical oh. videos back in the day. Wow. She was the one who directed King, the King Woman on Accelerate TV. She has been there. She was one that directed yeah, Wedding I, Party. I, I knew her from Wedding Party as well. She's been there. She has just not been. She has not really been in the, in the film yeah. space fully. You know, but she has been directing oh. musical videos oh, in the past. So she has been in that space. I didn't that, know her you know, until uh, Wedding Party world. Part 1. I know she directed the Wedding Party Part 1. That was when I knew her. I didn't wow. even know. You know, you are in the industry wow. now. <laughs> You should watch then you should watch the King Woman on Accelerate TV. The ah, King Woman or I, I, I will check that. Yeah, I think out. the King Woman, yeah. It's the King I'll Woman. Yeah, I think you should watch that series. That. It's a, a group of women at like a round table conversation. Oh. It was another another my You know you are in the industry, so you would know <laughs> all of this thing. But I didn't even know. Yeah. You know, I didn't yeah. know. I was just like <laughs> this right. lady just came from nowhere and she's just directing people, leading mm -hmm. a group of people. But at the same time, <laughs> yeah. 
Mm -hmm. And at the same time, what you said is profound in terms, in terms of still in line with what you were saying about, you know, she has been a thought leader. She has, she has led herself yeah. personally as an yeah. individual she before she now came and said, okay, I want to bring these yeah, people together. Has. Imagine, you didn't even know that she has been doing it. Because, maybe because yeah. I'm in the industry, I somewhat have an idea mm -hmm. of her. I'm sure there are a lot of people as well that don't really know her in the film industry after wedding party no, nobody probably knew who came at it was if you're not really in the industry and it just shows how every work you've been putting it putting in over the years that people are not necessarily seeing it's not exactly. a waste exactly. you know it is it's part of the personality she has built she has she has over the years been building herself giving herself every like every shot she gets to 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 do some work she does it People might not see it, she might not get the loud applause she's getting now, but she's content with that. And that has also helped her to build herself to who she is now, that we are really mm -hmm. applauding and saying, oh, well done, well done. It just shows how content she is yeah. with her journey, yeah. you know, and how much work she has done in herself is now playing out in the work that we are all seeing and really know, yeah, excited yeah, about, you know. It, it, yeah. like, like I was saying, like, it takes a lot to lead a group of people if you yourself are not first convinced of what you're doing. Like, she was so convinced That's about right. the project. Like, she was so convinced about that mm -hmm. story, about the movie, about everything. And no matter what people were saying, right. like, she was like, she's, I'm going to do this movie, you know? And she was so resilient. Like, there were times, even in the production, like, there were times, uh, in, generally in movies, like when they are producing a m movie, they are setbacks, they are, you know, they face challenges and all of that. But in the making of the part two, there was a whole lot of challenges, setback <laughs> upon setback upon setback. And at every point, you see her leading, coordinating, doing all of that. And I really found it really, uh, like, it was just amazing, especially because I think, like I said, it takes a lot for you to lead people if you are not fully convinced yourself that you can actually do this. She has, she has this kind of... Mm. Um, what I see from her, from her resilience, is that she has this... It's not something that she said, okay, I want to lead people. I want to lead people in this project. It just came naturally. It's not something that she, she had to... That's it's not right. a clothes she had to put on because she was directing. It's, a, it's, an, a, it's an expression of who she is on a daily basis. It's an expression of who she is. It's, yeah, her, it's her nature. nature. She's in a natural state. So we can look at her and be like, oh, this woman is doing a lot. But for her, she's actually just doing... Like it's like a normal activity, it's like a day to day activity. She just goes on set direct, mm -hmm. and that's, that's her, her nature, that's who yes. she is. That's the clothes she puts on every day. Mm -hmm. So it goes a long way to mm -hmm. say that it's not until when you have a project or when you want to do something big or when mm -hmm. you want to show yourself, like show your work, that's, that's right. when you now start living a kind of lifestyle. It should be a part of you that when you mm -hmm. are doing whatever it is yes. that you're doing, it just flows naturally. I remember exactly the same thing with even Shola Shobali. If you remember in our audition for the very first um, part, the very first time the audition. Oh my she goodness. She even forgot that there was going to be an audition, you know? And she was so late. She just got there, pam, pam, pam. And she was like, let me just do my thing. The lines were not flowing and she just did it. So it's not like, Imagine if she, that, that her personality, Shalashipo Ali's personality just, it, it just shone through the whole, um, what's it now, the whole audition, you know? It's not by, because of the yes, lines. In yes. fact, after she auditioned, Kim Edith was mm -hmm. like, ah, the, the lines they even put there. I couldn't you, forget imagine, this couldn't woman, forget she was in my and head. And that's not because Shalashipo Ali yeah. put on a particular clothes, a particular appearance because she's going to an audition. It's her nature. We see it even from, right. you know, from time mm -hmm. when Shalashi Valley has been acting. That's her nature. That's like her vibe. Yes. She just yes. goes to a place. Like every movie, yes. I remember watching her movies. Like I remember watching her growing up because she's always with off shoulder clothes. She's like, anytime she's acting, you just see her clothes, you just bend. Everything you just turn to more off shoulder kind of style. <laughs> I always enjoyed watching her, you know? Yes. And that's not, you know, it's not like mm -hmm. she put on that appearance when she gets on set. That is who she is. That's mm. her nature. That's her day to day mm. lifestyle. That's her personality. So it will just shine through. So I just mm. feel like that's the vibes I got from um, Kemi Adetiba herself all through the documentary. You know that the person you are mm -hmm. will always show, it will always shine mm. through whatever expression, the, whatever thing that you're doing. It will always show That's through. Right. Like, it will always That's shine right. through it. So if mm -hmm. you're someone that is lazy, it will show in your work. It will show in anything that it you will. do. If you're someone that is very mm. um, rigid, it will show in your work. If you're someone that is very flexible, it will, it will. show in your work. Mm -hmm. If you're someone that is very 
um, mm. quiet, you're an introvert, you're an ex whatever it is that you mm. are on a daily basis, it will show on your expression. That's so right. It's not about, okay, Kemi Adetiba put on this hat when she wanted to go and direct um, King of Boys or when she was leading these people. No. King of Boys. She was able to do that because it right. was a natural self. On a, on a regular, she is mm. that person that, you know, she's just that kind of person in real life, you know. So that I think that was mm. what helped. That's in, right being able to pull that kind of crowd and pull that kind of project you know two times you know yeah i think i think that's hmm. that's something i really and love. Yeah. yes to crown what you just said up you know in terms of like the person that you are the nature of who you are of your being i think that when she was sick mm -hmm. right and in the documentary at some point they, they, they shared that she was sick i wish they told her what the sickness was i was like what kind of sickness was it because like i just was like I'm, I'm not sure i think i just heard something ah I'm not, I'm not sure. to the point where she was she was she had to she had to work with like walking stick on the um on set and it just shows again that exactly <sighs> who you are like who you are you have to, you have to do a lot of work on yourself no matter your age and i think i saw it across every person that she was connected to all the people that were in that documentary the cast that she picked the people that she pitched the ideas to i can see a consistency that there were people who had done a lot of work in themselves and she could relate with them on that level because if you don't work on yourself if you're trying to oh i want to do this i want to do that but you're not you're not doing with yourself like you're not being first you know i just see that even in her sickness in her challenges in her trials the person that she is was able to win over the situation that she was coming across yeah remember she said she cried on the day of the mm -hmm. premiere remember she said that she had difficulty they could not export they could not people people around her could not go to tell her that you know what let's cancel this premiere why because they knew the kind of person they were dealing with they knew that no matter how hard this situation might be we can't bring such negativity yeah. to this kind of person they knew her person now it's beyond the work she has done it's beyond the situation it's beyond the actors that were in the film it is now Oh, who is at the front line of this film? We should take such. So everyone was tapping from that energy of who she is. So one thing I observed is that regardless of who the people you are relating with, the environment that you are, so far the kind of person that you are is strong enough, you are well built within you. Instead of you being in people influencing you negatively, subconsciously or consciously, your life begins yeah. to influence other people. Yeah. So do you want to tell me that when these other actors went on other sets, they did not act in a lacadaisical exactly. way or drop <laughs> exactly. their they were not passionate? Is it like they would have? There will be times they would have done that. But what happened? They are coming to a different yeah. atmosphere. So the kind of person that you mm -hmm. are set yeah set the pace of the kind of atmosphere that you yeah. attract it is you is your person if you see if you're around people who are not passionate about their dreams is you you're attracting such kind of people because that's who you that. are you know and i've also observed <laughs> i've observed this thing too within myself and when i saw that I was like i ah, see the kind of people she had like around her look at this person look at this person exactly. look at this person and i'm like wow damn i love that i mean i, I was that. like i was like i know this person this person is not like mm -hmm. this on the norm born on uh, Kevin this person is on their yes, end game exactly. you know exactly. and i'm like exactly. I love that. Damn, who you are really do matters. The person you embody because really do matter. She, 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 it she does. Has, she it herself, does. she's an A game. So people that are coming, when they were coming, she's an A -game. they were re oh, subconsciously. It wasn't like a game that they too were like, okay, as I'm going to this set, let me brave myself. Subconsciously, something was telling them that like, you yes. cannot afford to misbehave here. Yes. This might be the biggest, like this might be, yeah. you cannot afford. I, I love what you said about having the right people and being the person in a way that you attract the right, you attract high quality people. And let me tell you, to be honest, high quality That's people it. are hard to find, especially in Nigeria. Oh, 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 can I give you a quick, high quality people, quick peck on your cheeks right now? Find, <laughs> my dear, they are hard to find. Yes. And that's why yes. I just love what yes. you said because that was something my, my husband was actually, that he noticed and was like, the first person that read this script, that read that idea of hers, was Banky. You know, she said she mentioned it that it was Banky that first read yes, the idea, yes, and he was yeah. like, "This is it. Like, this is superb. This is, you know, this is it." 
you know imagine if she gave it to mm -hmm. somebody who is like average an average thinker or a, a shallow person the person will be like ah in this nigeria ah hey hey you know and all of that there were people that also were scared they were yes. afraid of the size of the project and all of that but they weren't scared because <laughs> Mm -hmm. she cannot pull it off. They were scared that, are you sure people can receive? Like, are you sure you're going to make profit in that sense? They were scared because, oh, she That's can't right. do it. Or, ah, or, <laughs> sorry, mm -hmm. like, you can't do it because mm -hmm. this is mm -hmm. too much. That's but right. They were scared because, it's too people much for you. To yeah. this because, they feel like our oh, people are not high quality. And I, this is not like an insult, but that's like an average African. It's and, the and, truth. And being factual, yeah, an average Nigerian is not yeah. high quality. We, we, that's why every time, and that's, that's why right. they even mention it that this is not a comedy. That's what we are used to. You know, we laugh away our sorrows, we laugh mm -hmm. away our problems, we talk about it more than we act on it. You know, we just talk, 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 we laugh, laugh, that's laugh. It. We see that's us it. in front of newspaper stand, we talk, 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 and by tomorrow, <laughs> we go and do the same things we complain about. <laughs> you know, that's the average about. Nigerian, that's the average person. So imagine she giving it to and that's saying, right. because, okay, I'm a nice person, let me be rolling with average people. Oh, I don't want people to think I'm proud. Let me be rolling with. They will put, they, like, they will rub you mm. in the mud. And there will be the same people to they tell you that, you oh, but you came to mingle with us and did we drag you here? You know? And that's what I, I, I love, mm -hmm. like, when you, were, mm -hmm. when you were pointing out that, you know, everybody had to bring their A game. Not because she told them, bring your A game. You know? She, they just came. They yeah. just knew subconsciously, like, you know? You can glaringly you, see it. You, you know, you can come, come here and, and be act acting in like one you know? type of way. <laughs> It boils down to, you know what we were saying. You can like, clearly see. Pers her, her personal leadership <laughs> is on point that she cannot attract less than who she is. And even if you are below that level that she is, you are the one that will level up. She won't come down to your level. She will level up. And that's something that I learned. Right. And I'm like, you know what? Yes. And it, it, there was something that I wrote down one day during my devotional. Like, the, you know, the, the way people can mm -hmm. say that, okay, you have to come down to people's level at time. You have to go out and reach out. Yes, you can come down to people's level to right. help them, but you don't need to stay in their mm -hmm. level. You don't need to stay in their level. That's Even it. Even Jesus came to help, like he came to stay, but he was always of the higher, you know, he will go, he will separate himself from people. He yes. will go because he could not stay in their level. He will yes. come there, help them, and he will go that's up. That's right. So yes, that's something that I learned, and I'm like, you know mm. what? As much as I want to say, okay, I want, be, I want to be relatable, I want to be this, I want to be that. Of course, different situations warrant for different, like it, it requires wisdom and, and all of that. But I think it's something that I took and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to set a standard for myself. I thought I was even big on boundaries. I thought I was big on standards, you know, but watching her and I'm like, <laughs> no. You have stayed too long in this level. Upgrade your standard, you know, level. Yeah, we're upgrading it, upgrading it. There, there's, there's something else that's on my mind and I really want to get your opinion on this. So what do you think about maintaining okay. a certain standard or a quality of life even when people are not watching? You know, right now we are all for the ah. accolades. We are all for the um, gratification. You know, you put out something, you're doing the something, numbers. you're living a certain way. <laughs> We all expect people to like validate us and give, appreciate us for what we are doing. So, what do you think about making right. this is quality, even when people are not watching? Because mm -hmm. I think that you remember that in the in the making, she said, or even with everything that you see there, you know, when there was a fire scene, they brought in the fire service, something that is not usual in our industry. Well, I don't know much about the industry, but you know what about the industry, right? <laughs> so, what yeah. do you think about the I quality? Get it. Because she maintained a certain quality, even when she wasn't sure mm -hmm. of the acceptance of the project. You know, they made they made the round mm -hmm. table, they cut the wood, they did everything. Like, they created scenes the way scenes needed to be created. And I love the quality of everything they the did, world. you know? So, what do you think? What's your opinion on, mm -hmm. you know, maintaining a certain quality that you know is right for you, even when people are not watching, when the validation is not there, you know? What do you think? Ah, wow, this is something that, <laughs> honestly, this is something that I always tell myself, excellent, like carrying that spirit of excellence. And I always say, I, I've said this some time ago on my channel that I always remind myself, I think it was on Instagram, I, I think I put it up on one of my Instagram posts like that. I was talking about the spirit of excellence and how I have so much imbibed it in myself that now it has become like a second nature. So I'll say that the kind of quality that you put into your work, paid, unpaid, 
something that you just do casually should not drop because oh maybe people will not watch it or maybe people will not like it or maybe i'm not sure how people will welcome it it is not about how people feel about it it is how it's about how you want to present it the why behind mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. and the purpose of it yeah. you know so forget about what would people think about it there was a time i was in I, I would say like i was enslaved in that box of oh i don't know how people will feel about this thing you know i don't know it's just like it's like it's like you're, you push yourself deliberately into slavery that's what that thing does to you honestly <laughs> honestly yeah, so what i would say is that <laughs> so what i would say is that quality should not be determined by how the third party will feel it is about you and what you are putting out there because because someday 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 mm -hmm, yeah. that thing that you put out there that you are feeling like oh it's not a big yeah. deal will come back and haunt you <laughs> I'm laughing like this because it has happened. It has happened and in this social media age that we are now so like your social media profile, your profile on the internet in the, on the digital yeah. world is like your first CV mm -hmm. before people meet you in person. They hear your that's name. They, they see that you put you applied for something. That's the first thing they will go and check. They will want to do a background check on you. Oh, what the people this person is following? So imagine if you've been doing things that are less of quality. It affects how they will perceive you first before you get the chance to prove yourself. So what Kevin Identity Bar has done is that in the midst of the chaos, in the midst of the problems flying in and out, she maintained the standard. Yeah. It goes back to what we said earlier that you gotta have a standard. Mm -hmm for yourself personally that you not feel into all the things that you do and that way it becomes a second nature for you like recently i was referred for a job yeah and the, when i put myself out there you know i i sent the email i you know talked about myself and the re response was like girl i, I heard you go check you out <laughs> <laughs> you you be good i love even, what i see the way you your page you your for your field that was a point yeah you know? <laughs> You know, and she was like, oh no, I already got to check you out. I saw the way you, you put your, your page together. It's so beautiful. I love how you present yourself. It's so amazing. I, I, I can't wait to get, I can't wait to talk to you. Already, I had not said much. I already, I just gave them an idea of who I am, but they already have their own perception without me saying too much. So that is what, what you do. That's how much that's the pedestal you should put everything that you do that anytime i don't have the chance to talk about myself can these things i'm doing can they speak of my person can people see through my work and see me i like that that's a big question for like you that. so you gotta answer I, I, that I question i really love that i really love that because it just ushers yeah. into something that was on my mind because especially as women uh -huh. we have a lot of things that we do yes. you know? and sometimes because we have a lot that we do it reduces the quality of uh -huh. what we do because you're doing this you're multitasking That's right. all the time there's, mm -hmm. there's no particular mm -hmm. area that there's excellence like you're doing the very best in that area right because of you know how we juggle things That's right. that. but if we carry this mm -hmm. mindset that i have to be excellent just set your priorities it's not a matter of multitasking it's a matter of being excellent in everything you put out so if you know you cannot do more than two at a time like me i know that <laughs> i'm excellent in an area that i know that yes yeah, this is but in some areas i may not be the best i can't call myself the best cook in this world you know but i know that i am i'm like excellent in certain areas and i put in my energy where i know i can put it you know it's just carrying the mindset that you need to be excellent at all times don't let your quality drop because people are not appreciating you don't dress up your children because nobody's saying oh your daughter looks cute and you're not saying eh. nobody that's will right not, no, no don't do that don't go to work dressed in a particular because who is looking at me i'm already married you know all those things mm -hmm. everywhere you go just make sure that everything you put out that represents you like what you said about where people where I can't talk too much, let my work be excellent enough to speak for me. I love that. So we should just always carry that mindset yeah. that you know, where my, your yeah. children will go to places that you you like you are not there, and we speak about you. Your mm -hmm. work we go and you know mm -hmm. your grades, you know your marks in school, everything speaks about you even when you're not there, and it's. You know, we just need to be excellent. Don't let your quality drop because, you know, you're posting something on Instagram, on YouTube. You just post it like that. Like, let me just post it, you know, without thinking like, 
like, I can't deal. I, I'm like, you know, I know sometimes I, I, I am guilty of that. You know, there are times I just post this and don't like, let me just post this. I like this thing. But sometimes I, you know, mm-hmm. it's just a matter of convincing yourself first before you go out there and allow people to take a perception of you. Like I always say a lot on this channel, That's like, right. perception is stronger than reality. What people perceive of you is mm. stronger than who you really are. Mm. So yeah, I think, I think that's about Deep. it. Let's, let's talk about, you know, how this relates to young people. I really wanted to. I love you know, this. I love this conversation <laughs> so much. Keep on.